it's that time once again. The owls from the wizarding trunk have brought me another box. And here it is. I don't know or remember the theme, but I think it might have something to do with potions. So uh, let's see what we got in here. So first things we'll start with the t-shirt. Sure. This will be easy for me to open. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. But I'm sure sounding god awful. So a nice gray. Get out of my head. A nice gray t shirt. The little logo on the corner. I mean, on the chest that says the Potion Masters Brewing Company established 1978 with the cauldron there. And then we have something on the back. Potion Masters Brewing Company, bewitching minds and ensnaring senses since 1978. So the three cauldrons. Um, this is fantastic. I like this gray shirt. I love that it's kind of, uh, you know, it doesn't scream in my face. It's kind of subdued, but it, it says what it needs to say. And it is super soft. Like I'm going to live in this shirt for days because of how good it is. So perfect shirt for me, excellent way to start this box. And with that shirt gone, we are still jammed full. So we're just gonna set that to the side and we'll grab them as we go. So our first thing, we have a pin. So potion bottle, it says fame. And we'll just take it out of there and get that glare off of it. So very cool potion bottle, with the tag that says fame, you can see the shimmering liquid inside, double class on the back. Uh, I mean, as far as big chunky pins go, I dig it. It's cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Pin board's getting full. I may be able to squeeze another one in, but uh, I like it. Two for two so far. And then we'll, I don't know what's in here, but it's looking promising. So it looks like we have a resin dough Patronus. This is awesome. I have a few Patronuses that are action figure size because of, because they came with action figures, of course. Um, but this looks great. Snape did not come with a Patronus. But now we have one. Um, I don't know if I can reach any action figures without making too much of a mess. Uh, let me see how much cord I have. Okay, so there we go. I'll come back on the mat. Okay, so there we have a Harry Potter action figure with the Patronus. It's just about one twelfth. 112 scale action figure size. So uh, I love it that it's that it's clear plastic and it looks exactly how it should look. Fantastic. This will find a home in here next to some action figure somewhere. So I like it very much. We'll put that to the side and go on to the next one. So here we have a box with a wonderful window decoration on, on it see what we have in there. I don't know if this is supposed to be in the prefix bathroom or the Slytherin common room. Uh, these boxes are so nice that they fit, they, they, you can tell they're brand new because they fit together so well and they're so tough to get out. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's all that's in there. Drop that to the bottom. This looks like this is our, our potion bottle which says final memories and it looks to be another um oh, we have can you see it yep we have some shimmering glycerin in there uh, another memory vial for the pensive i i don't know if it's this box per se but i feel like i have a few of these now but this is one of the cooler ones um so we'll put that to this well, actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna put that back in its protective wrapper and back in its box so it doesn't end up in pieces on the floor. 
that can be in a box on the floor. Um, and then another brew it yourself potion kit, the swelling serum with a toad on it. So please follow the provided instructions while completing this brew it yourself potion kit. So let's see what we have on the inside. I do like this brew it yourself potion potions. Um, I have had an, a potion or two that I've received uh, come in less than ideal circumstances. So being able to add the liquid myself is definitely a plus. And plus, who doesn't like brewing some potions? Okay, so I think that's everything in the box. So first off, we have the Pure Blood Apothecary sticker, and then the Swellum Steering. Swelling Serum, easy for me to say, sticker. So I'm sure they go on the bottle in some way. And then we have some wax for a wax seal. And then we have a very scientific looking bottle with a cork. And we have some green shimmering water with glycerin in it. And then we also have some orange. Looks like that could be food coloring. I don't know, clear, clear orange liquid. Um, and then we it looks like they gave us a small stir stick this time. So pretty cool. I'll be interested to see what that looks like and what the instructions say. Uh, so it says included ingredients included. Glass bottle, two labels, pickled boom slang liquid, puffer fish eyes, metal stirring rod, not included, moon water. So we'll have to put all that together and see what it comes up with. And so we'll go on to the next item. The copper kettle and in puff. Some beautiful gold foiling on this box. I'm sure this is one of their keys on the inside. I can definitely hear some metal clanging around. Oh, it's not keys. It is a spoon set. A st I would assume a stirring spoon set. So let me put them back where they belong. And, uh, and then I can show you. So here we are. I don't want them to fall, so I'm going to have to hold them. So it looks like the hog's head stirring spoons. That's what I didn't want to happen. Ugh, but we'll pick it up. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they're in... The spoon is a cauldron, and at the top of the spoon is a hog's head. Look at the hog's head, not look at me, look at the hog's head. So, anyway, so then there's that, and then we have... Uh, so this one has a is a more pointed spoon, and then we also have a rounded spoon, which is just bigger. But they look to be the same design on both. Metal. So... I'm sure they're food safe and to actually be used, not just a movie prop. So pretty cool. Don't know if I'll be mixing anything with them, but you never know where they're gonna end up. So on to the next one. A rather large, plain brown box. Let's open it up. Oh, and we have some foam in there. So something worth protecting. Let's see what we can pull out. Whoa, okay. So it looks like we have a scale. Let's see if I can take this out easily. Okay, so I pull that out. I can pull that out. And then I think I can pull this out. Sort of. It's, the bottom is just kind of stuck in there. Okay, so we got it out. And it looks like we have our two bowls. Okay, come on, get on there. Everything jumping on the floor today. Okay, so there we go, our scale. And it does move, so I'm sure it would function as a scale if you are going to measure something really small, like maybe some 
potion ingredients. So there we go. Not bad. Pretty cool. I mean, it feels like metal. This is looks like a potion bottle at the top, uh, bubbling over. Um, this looks like it could be a cauldron with flames coming out of it. And this looks like a, a giant spoon going down into the cauldron. So very cool, very on brand. I feel like if, if my potion shelf was bigger, this would fit right in there. Um, but as for right now, I'm going to have to think about it and come up with where that's going to live. Um, okay, we're down to our last item and then we have some a couple of paper items, which is advanced potion making. The Potion Master's Guidebook, sorry. The Potion Master's Guidebook, not advanced potion making. That's probably copyrighted. So let's open it up. It feels like this might be hollow on the inside. Which I'm all about. I'm all about a nice secret hidden book. I mean, look at that uh, foiled uh, silver foiling there. That would look perfect over there on my bookshelf. You'd never know that I'm hiding apparently some note pages in it. So, yeah, this just looks like a Potion Master's notepad. It has a cauldron, some lacewing flies, a mandrake. Looks like the Sorcerer's Stone a beetle, a skull, and a cauldron. And then we have the scales over here. So this is a pretty cool notepad. I like it. And it's it's got probably, I don't know, 20, 30, 50 pages in there. Not bad. And then we have our book, which is, it is hollow. So very, very good place to hide some valuables on your bookshelf. Just looks like a regular old book. I'm sure it would fit in very nicely. So pretty cool. I'm sure that will get some use. Oh, and here we go. We have our instructions for the swelling serum. So it looks like there's 10 steps. So that is, uh, that is quite more involved than I would have thought, but I'm looking forward to doing it. And I'm glad that they included this because some of the other ones that I've gotten um, weren't quite as detailed or as fun. So very cool. Uh, and then we have our art print, which is the Potion Master's classroom slash desk. Um, and yeah, looks like we have our, all of our art items in here. We have our um, scales. We have our small Patronus there. We have our swelling solution. I don't know if you can tell, but they have a frog on there. So that's our swelling solution. We have our Potion Master's book. Um, so very cool and then i believe this represents the pin that's the the potion that represents the pin so very cool piece of artwork i do like the potion it's classroom so very cool oh and we also on the bottom there we have an apothecary chart right here and then on the bottom of my box i have an apothecary chart right here so this is very cool. This would fit in a frame on the wall right behind my potion shelf. Don't know if I will be able to find room from that for that, but a quick a apothecary chart, a quick reference to common components. So very cool, nice cardstock. Very cool, I like it. I love uh, in-universe items, which I feel like that's what that is. So then we're down to our cheat sheet, which we have an artist rendition of what looks to be Professor Snape right here. So, Master of Potions. So I guess we can agree that the uh, potions, the Master of Potions, was the theme. So number one, we have the Potion Master Silver Scales. A set of vintage silver scales are used and sold exclusively to Potion Masters. The Brew It Yourself Potion Kit, the Potion Master's Guidebook. This book box is the perfect place to store all of your potion recipe pages from the Potion Master's Guidebook, or even some of your rarer potion ingredients that your students may try to steal. Then we have the Potion Master's Notepad, a double-sided notepad that can be used to write down new potion recipes or revise some of the classics. The Vial of the Past, exclusive hand-blown vials will take you back to some very insightful and unexpected memories. The Potion Master's Brewing Company shirt, Love it. The apothecary chart, the dough. This dough stands as a reminder to love, always. Um, fame or glory or death pin. You will have received one of three pin variations. So I have received fame. 
So I will be interested to see what glory and death are. And then the swelling syrup recipe. Swelling serum recipe. Give Paige will give you detailed instructions for brewing your swelling serum right out of the Potion Master's guidebook. And then we have the copper kettle, sugar and teaspoons. Sugar and teaspoons will help you master your morning potions, even if they are just tea and coffee. All food safe zinc alloy spoons are dishwasher safe and hand wash recommended. Okay. And the Potion Master Sturdy Print. A look into the potion into the study of the Potion Master. Um, so pretty cool. I like it very much. The next bi-monthly take is Good versus Evil. So Wizarding Trunk, another home run for what this box is. I mean, potions, as you can tell, are something that I do enjoy. And uh, every item in here I like. I don't know that every item is going to be useful to me, but some of these items are definitely going to find permanent homes uh, on various shelves and cabinets and all the places around here. So uh, looking forward to the next Wizarding Trunk box when it finds its way into this game room. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.